Firstly, ensure you have a landscape paper tray available to use on your device. Before printing your document, you will need to click on Properties. The booklet menu is initially unavailable. To enable this, you will need to change the double-sided option to Off. You will now be able to select the booklet option, which will automatically format the pages for you. Select the centre staple option to both fold and staple the document. This is now ready to print, but it is advisable to register this as a one-click preset first, to make it quicker and easier the next time you want to print a booklet. Click on Register Current Settings and name the preset. Click on OK and you will see the new one-click preset has been added to your list. Simply click on it next time you want to print with these same settings. If you wish, you can register a colour version of the same settings. Simply switch to colour and then register current settings again. Now print as normal. Your stapled A5 booklet will output on the bottom finisher tray. If you want to print an A4 booklet, use your existing one-click preset and then click on Detailed Settings. Then select Fit to Print Size from the Reduce Enlarge menu. Now select A3 Size from the Print On menu. Again, register this as a one-click preset and then print as normal. We have now added a new front page to our document and want this to be printed onto different coloured paper. At the device, ensure that there are two landscape paper trays available, one with white paper and one with the colour paper you wish to use. Using the existing booklet preset as a starting point, click onto Detailed Settings. Then select the Cover, Slip, Designate tab. Tick the front cover checkbox and confirm which tray the first or coloured page is going to come from. Then change the print mode to both sides. Now you are ready to print, but be sure to register this as a one-click preset for next time. Your stapled A5 booklet with a cover will output on the bottom finisher tray.